Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Alan, and I'm from the United States, specifically from New York. And welcome to my channel, Brazijikas. In this video, I'm going to explain a type of cuisine that is very popular in the United States called soul food. It can be found in many states, specifically in the South, and is widely considered to be some of the most delicious food in the entire country. So today we're going to answer the question, what is American soul food? Here we go. Soul food evolved in the United States during slavery, where African slaves would mix ingredients and flavors of Africa with ingredients that were commonly used in Native American cuisine, such as corn. The term soul food became popular during the early and mid-1900s, during a time period where around 6 million African Americans migrated from the rural south to the northeast, midwest, and several urban areas on the west coast of the country. They used the term soul since this type of food reminded them of home and of their families that many of them left behind. Soul food is a big part of African American culture, so today you can find it all throughout the United States. But when people say soul food, they generally think of the South, which is where it originated, and this region of the US still has a very large black population. This includes the states of North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Louisiana, Alabama, and Texas, and cities such as Charlotte, Charleston, Atlanta, New Orleans, Birmingham, and Houston. However, it's important not to confuse soul food with southern food. As I mentioned earlier, soul food is primarily eaten among the black community due to its African origins. Soul food is just a type of U.S. southern cuisine. Now that we've established the history of soul food, it's time to see what exactly is on the menu. First up, Black Eyed Peas. You're probably familiar with the music group with Will I Am and Fergie, but Black Eyed Peas is actually a very popular soul food dish in the United States. The beans are usually slow cooked for hours, and it's very common to add a type of pork to them to add flavor, such as ham hocks, neck bones, or bacon. Next, we have collard greens. This leafy vegetable is a staple in southern U.S. cuisine. Like black-eyed peas, collard greens are often cooked for many hours with pork to add delicious flavor. One food that has its origins from Native American cuisine is cornbread. It is made by using ground-dried corn, or cornmeal, and is loved for its texture and flavor. Add butter and honey on top for extra deliciousness. Another food of Native American origin that is a big part of soul food are grits. Grits are usually made from a type of corn called hominy and is very popular as a breakfast dish. Grits can be eaten sweet by adding sugar, honey, or syrup, or you can add salt or cheese to make them savory. Although grits are commonly eaten for breakfast, shrimp and grits is a common dish that is often eaten for lunch or dinner. Okra is a vegetable that is native to Africa, which the slaves brought over to America. It can be eaten steamed, roasted, or fried, and is a main ingredient in gumbo. Gumbo is a type of soup originating in the state of Louisiana. In addition to okra, this dish consists of a meat, such as shrimp or sausage, vegetables such as tomatoes and onions, and many types of spices. Fried chicken is popular in the South due to its delicious flavor. The chicken is seasoned, battered, and fried, leaving a tasty, crispy exterior. Even though you can now find fried chicken in any part of the United States due to popular restaurant chains such as Kentucky Fried Chicken and Popeyes, many soul food restaurants offer the combination of fried chicken and waffles. Many people love the sweet and savory combination of this dish as it pairs a common breakfast food with a food typical for lunch or dinner. Last up on the menu is sweet potato pie. This pie is very common for dessert among African American cuisine. Like the name suggests, it is made from sweet potatoes as well as other typical pie ingredients such as sugar, milk, and spices such as nutmeg. It is often served during the holidays of Thanksgiving and Christmas.
So guys, I hope you learned a little bit more about soul food in the United States. Many of these dishes and recipes have been passed down from generation to generation and make up a big part of African American culture. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. Until next time and thanks for watching.